Hi guys, welcome back. Oh hi, welcome. Hey, I'll be buying this. What button did I press? It, shit, why is it showing me that? Why is it showing me a wooden shield? I'm confused. Okay, we'll do that. Why is it showing me that? Oh uh, yeah, that's about right, deal. Thanks, please come again. I don't know why it was showing me that. Yeah, I sold a wooden armband. Yay, people buy more stuff, because I've, I've nearly run out of money. So we ended, so we've ended that part. Let's do it again. Let's sell more shit. I want to sell our magical stuff for loads of cash. Because that would be good. Welcome, looking for something special. I was looking for one of these. I have no idea what button I pressed to make that thing come up. How about this? No way, reset. I can't accept that price, grumpy cow. Oh, it's him. Sorry. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ooh, I forgot it was him. I was looking at reset by accident. Thank you. Glee. Welcome. Looking for something special. Would you sell me this, my girl? I reckon he's got loads of cash money stuffed somewhere. Let's go 3.30. Alright, that's good. Yeah, old men have loads of money. Remember that, kids. The That was quite a lot of merchant -y points. I think the more profit I make, the more points I get, I'm assuming. Hello. Ah, little lady. Yes, yeah, so much money. Let's go with that. And then they're to like 1,500. How about that? Oh, I see. That's a fine price. Yeah, cash money. Yay, sold it. No, oh, we haven't got much stuff left. I was going to say, maybe, so should we buy restorative? I reckon we should buy half restorative and half stuff to put in there. Time seemed to fly by today. Speaking of time, I plan on doing some mild schedule management for you from now on. Ensure you are working in an effective manner to pay back your debt. Schedule management? Quite. First, I've broken up the day into four time periods. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Well done. What you can do and how much you can do depends on the time of day. Hey, yeah, the clock's been broken up into four areas. Oh, well done. Think of each part as a slice of time. A slice, mmm, like a pie. Indeed, I thought I would be able to keep your attention if I made it rather similar to some sort of sweet food. So there's the morning slice, the afternoon. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Ahem, anyway. I think I understand this already. Now to explain in detail. Generally, you can only act between morning and night. When at night ends, you go to bed. Try and run a shop while sleep deprived is unpre unpleasant. So I'll say I'll close up when it gets late. All done. So you essentially have two options for each slice. You can open the store for a time or go about town on business. You cannot do both at the same time. To be clear, opening the shop will consume a slice and returning to the store after going out, regardless of what you actually do, will also consume a slice. But what if I go to like the plaza and then the chapel? Ooh, you're being difficult, love. You can get around town easily enough to avoid consuming a slice with each move. Only when you return to the store will the clock advance. So in that case, I should do a lot when I leave the shop. Yes, that is a good attitude to take now. I've got a good idea. So tomorrow, like tomorrow game time, we should go to the shop and then to the Adventurers Guild rather than coming back in between, otherwise that will like take up more time. Visiting a dungeon will consume... Consume, consume two slices no matter what. It will, it takes that long. So if I go in the morning, I'll get back in the evening. That is precisely how it works. Thus, you can only leave for a dungeon at an early point in the day. If it is night or you have some, done something else that evening, you cannot go. Because if I did go, I'd get back well late. <laughs> exactly. Not only would you annoy your adventurer companions, adventurer, adventurer companions with staying out so late, you'd also be dead on your feet the next day after returning. I thought you said you'd be dead. Like, you'd be so tired, man, you'd be dead. Man, this is a lot to wrap my head around. You will get used to it, I am sure. Before you know it, you will be thinking about it naturally. You think so? Name the shop will take a period of time. Blah, 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 clock. Blah, 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 clock. Yes, dear. Whatever you say, dear. Um, maybe I should go buy some stuff from the shop already because it's late and we've only got 
one thing in the shop, which is probably not helping matters. So if I buy like two or three restorative things. So where do we go? Merchants Guild and Market. So Merchants Guild is stuff to sell, Market is stuff to keep. I understand. So let's buy one of these. Bow. Ooh, a laundry pole. Something I need in my life. How about that? How about one of them? I'm just buying everything. Cloth robe. How cool. Wooden chest plate. Right, okay, let's go to restorative items now. We haven't got much money left. Right. Market. Buy. Food. So, blah, 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 walnuts. Blah, 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 candy. Let's get a candy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hang on, let's go back. Medicine. Books. So that's character list. Oh no, it's just a stupid Mickey take. Magazine. Dimensionals. What is that? Oh, what? I want that. That looks cool. Cape. Huh, <laughs> odd. How else do we have money for? Let's buy an apple as well, and then we'll just equip everything to Louis before he leaves. Just be like, okay, you must be fat now. Eat all the things. Right, is it bedtime yet? If it's not, I'll put some stuff back. Or back, I'll put some stuff in the shop. Focus stuff. Put stuff that's like the coolest in the front. Bow. And then laundry pole. All level. Now, I like the cloth robe actually. And then just put plump these anyway. No! No! No, wrong button. You can't have that. Thank you. I forgot that I'd still have those in my inventory as well. No, 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 no. Laundry pole. God, I've got so much stuff. Okay. Can we open the shop? Or are we too late in the day? Don't know, maybe. I think we can do it for a little while. Maybe sell stuff to a couple of people. That all look the same. Hi there. It's a lucky day for both of us then, if you have one of those. See, I knew that would sell well. Let's go with 1300. Ah, I can't ask you to go any lower. Right, I'll take it. <laughs> I like who's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I sold it for 1300 picks. We must be getting close to making a profit today. No, I don't think we did actually. Because we bought so much stuff. Good night. Good night. We need to start making some cash though, otherwise she's going to be all well bitching. Because we're not going to have much money. Ooh, actually, profit's really good. Cool. Exceeded expectations. Yeah. Right, here's the plan, kids. Go see scary, go see scary dungeon monsters and have some dungeony times. Then we'll come back and open the store because you. Why? Why is that shut? W, what does W tell me about all the things? See, why does it say today is four is. something is shut? Let's go with status. Louis. Okay, for some reason that crap is shut. So because we sold that for quite a lot, we could probably buy something else now. Let's buy a cool sword. Actually, I want to go back onto there and see what Louis has. Because if he has a crappy sword, I could give him this good one. So what's he got? Worn sword. I want to see if I can give him that sword. Actually, let's see if we can buy one more thing. Let's go with this. And then we'll go back. Alright, we'll go back now. i open the shop for a little while. The red on the calendar must mean that the um, dungeon's shut. Right, so if we put our souvenir charm in the window. There, then we'll open the shop for like ever. We'll just open the shop all day. And try and sell these things. And then try and give the long sword to, um, to What's-His-Face. When he gets, when we go dungeoneering tomorrow. Because apparently we can't do that today. Hey. Could I get this please? Could I get a booby plate? go with a thousand and fifty because they seem like a hundred and thirty seems to be like a like a hundred and thirty percent seems to be very close to what they enjoy. 
That's a pretty good deal, to be honest. Way. See, if you start at 140 or 130, they if they don't take it then, then you go to 120 something, and then they seem to take it. Although the old men just seem to take anything because they've got, like, cash to spare. Oh, I'm nearly level 2. I wonder what that does. Louis! Oh, of course you're selling that when I'm near broke. Oh, I just want to give it to him for, like, no money. Okay, I'll give you 120% because I like you. Thanks, please come again. I like him, I don't care if I get in trouble for selling him stuff at mates rapes. But he's our adventurer, pal. We can't sell it to him for loads. Yes, I can sell you stuff for loads. Oh, so much money. No, not really that much. Let's go to 140. I doubt he'll take it though, because that's crazy. 153? Mm, well, it's reasonable enough. Yeah. Thanks for all the money. I leveled up. Whoop. What now? Press all the buttons. Hello. Welcome to Rossiter. 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 I want this today. Little kids are always really bitching though because they never have enough money. See? <sighs> that is my lowest price and you can go and whistle. I don't care. Go away, bizatch. 120%. She wouldn't even take that. I am here to make a profit, you know. Oh, I'm going to get a lecture again. I can feel it. Well, then, you seem to have developed a basic understanding of how to sell things to people and not drive them to burn the shop in anger. Ha <laughs> ha. Being a truly great store owner involves more than selling things, however. There are times when people will, will want to sell items to you as well. Really, I suspect we will begin to get such offers very soon. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. But I already buy stuff, so why should I worry about buying stuff from customers? There is one major difference between a guild or market purchase and a purchase from an individual. Individuals do not have set prices, in other words. You can haggle as you do when selling. Haggle down, that is. Ooh, so I can get stuff really cheap. That sounds like it'd be pretty hard. Fundamentally, buying and selling are not that different. A customer shows you an item they wish to sell, and then you set a price and perhaps negotiate. Obviously, you want to pay less than the base price of the item. Okay, so buy low, sell dear, right? That made no sense to me in my brain. Just so. Just so. That is the very core of a successful business. Now then, shall we practice? Fundamental procedure is the same as when selling. Okie decks. Sounds easy enough. Welcome to Reseteer. 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 Where'd you buy this for me? Need a name, loaf, life, price, loaf. Press down. Come on, me. You can do this. So what should I set it to? So we need to... How much? How much? 75%. Not bad, but I suspect most customers will be fine going lower. Try lowering the price a bit more. 70% or less. Oh, hint, hint. Let's go to 58. How about that? Excellent. This is a good price. Really? So we get it for like 58%. And then we can sell it for like 140. This is the best ever. Let's do this all day. Concept is essentially the same as selling something. Now that you have offered a price you believe to be fair, just your offer until they agree to sell it to you. Okay. Let's begin then. Could you offer me a little more? I think it is worth a lot. Sad face. Oh. So I need to offer them slightly more. Let's go with that. Between 50 and 70 is a good target. You will gain an item to sell without giving up too much money. And that is essentially how it goes. You seem to have a decent enough grasp of it. Well, let's put theory into practice again. I will sell you several items. If you buy them from me successfully, I believe you'll be ready to proceed. Well, let's begin. Oh, this is so tedious. Just, I know how to do it. Let me do it, Mama. Oh. <sighs> Hello. Welcome to Rest Here. Rest Here. When you be at my uh, uh, Buy candy. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. I was just about to say, yeah, it's fine. And then I realised it was 70%. Yes, no, excellent price. Well done. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got candy for 160 picks. See, it'd be good to barter for... Um, food because I can give them to the dude for dungeoneering hopefully we can make a big profit like bring a couple of candy last a little longer get lots more items rather than just one you see my you see my idea chocolate bar yes please let's go to that 54 she's gonna be awkward on purpose oh no I thought she's gonna be awkward to um show me how haggling worked again very good you're very good if you ever wish to practice again simply out no 
I want to open the shop some more. You get in my way. You crap my style. You're so boring. Stupid loan shark. No, go away. I can't believe she actually is a loan shark. I thought he was taking the piss. Getting held to ransom by a bloody fairy. God, I'm so stupid. Hi. My daughter-in-law asked me to pick this up. I was about to start like as if I was selling and put the price right down. My bad. Too expensive. Make it cheaper. Mm, you didn't say please. Way more stuffs. I'm glad we're getting some money though, because if we don't make enough profit by like day eight, we're gonna be so screwed. Is there just a egg? Is there just a go to sleep so I can play dungeons game? Like button. Dungeons button. Not game. What am I about? What are we doing? I need to go up. Let's try that. It's that expensive. To no, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to press go back. But I didn't. Let's just do this again. Anyway. After this day is over, I'm going to finish the episode and we will go dungeoneering in the morning. We'll give him all our foods. Are you going to sell me something soon? Oh, clues. Let's, like, try doing this. 133. Well, that seems about right. Okay, here's the money. Woo, cash. I wonder how much profit we made today. I think it automatically ends the day, like, if because doing the shop takes up a whole bit anyway. So, like, I think it gives up when people don't want to do anything. Yeah, of course it is. So, showcase item, does that mean you can sell it for more? I've only just noticed that it says that. Because I remember it telling me about putting things in the window because I was babbling on about being in merchandise. Uh, being in merchandise, being in retail and knowing what they're on about for merchandising. Yeah, he sold him the bow, but it's annoying because he doesn't actually have that when we go dungeon in the ring, I do think. I'm tired. Go rest then, tomorrow we'll be busy. I don't like her, I thought she was like my sister or something. No, I hate her because she's a lone shark asshole. Ooh, loads of profit. Ooh. Didn't buy anything though. Right, day five it is. I'm going to end the episode here. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.